So here we are, we're looking at the crux of the matter. Yeah, this is right. Michelle's blog. And you, you see, actually, this looks pretty good, so. Um. Well, what I was looking for is, um, the banner is pretty small. Um, and I was, after we looked at our crafto with the one large image, I really right. liked that look. Yeah, okay. um, so I was trying to uh, ch just do some testing and I couldn't get any of the themes to actually t take it and make that big okay. photo. So you want the kind of the big splash wall coming? The splash wall, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. And I do like this photo, yeah. but I had to really like the photo itself would actually, it's beautiful. Um, it's the ceiling of the Hagia, the Hagia Sophia, Turkey. So mm. you, you miss half of it, really. Right. So, so to, uh, what we have so far, tell me about the way you've been thinking about organizing. So right now, all I have are posts yeah. that I've done. Um, I would imagine that I would probably need to make some menus to organize it into probably a, as it's a portfolio, right. more traditional. So one of the things I have is a learning design project that really probably would go underneath um, something called research. Mm -hmm. And um, though it would be interesting to have sort of um, uh, publications, but also maybe active research. Mm -hmm. Because one of the nice things about that learning design project is it was action research project. It would be nice to kind of continue it and collect more right. input and samples from people. Right. Um, so as a department, we were looking at you know, what are some design patterns that work? Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit about that in our meeting right. with the, the whole um, department. But it would be nice to have a place maybe to collect a few of those design patterns and, and be able to get people to actually, I don't know, either contribute or mm -hmm. share, talk about, discuss certain designs. So this might be arranged along kind of thematically, um, not just your projects, but um, I mean, uh, with, with the examples attached that you might add to as you go. Right. So it would be more like, so here are the outputs, but here are the yeah. in progress where we still are, we're still working and want to. Yeah. And, and I know that one of the, um, one of the big confusing points to, to most people is like, um, when do I use a page for something and when do I use a post for something? And for some cases you can make them both work. And for some cases it makes a lot of sense to do one. People tend to think of pages first because they used to say in web page. Right. And so there's like web page and there's capital P for the page, which is right. the WordPress content type. And stuff that works well as pages are things generally that kind of stand by their cells and also um, things that you may want to sort of put in like a table of contents right. where you want to control the order. Yes. Um, whereas um, what you get with posts are the ability to use tags and categories uh, so as you add things, like if you did it, everything as pages and you wanted to add one of those, um, like a new thing to it, you'd have to manually edit the master right. page. It's like, and then you end up with a structure that looks like menus. So mm -hmm. here's a screen of options, here's a screen of options. Right. So when I heard you describe this, this is kind of like, um, there's an overview right. that explains it. So um, this, and this, this works really well as a page and then um, what we could have is, as you want to add to this, if you did those as post, and we put them in a, a category called, you know, reflections on learning design or you know, learning design period, um, we could have like on the sidebar or on the page have like all the posts that are related to that because that will change over time. Okay. So that's sort of an organizational um, okay. thing, but yeah. um, you know, I. I, you know, fr from saying this, I can see, you know, we got dream and a skein, so. So that's more, th th you know what that was? That was like we were we were going through and we yeah. were talking about embedding video. And right, like, oh, right. I actually have one. Let's I saw it. that, yeah, I like that. Try to embed the video. And so, and then research is going to be. Um, I don't have anything yeah. in it. That's okay. Yeah. Think, thinking of placeholders. Yeah. So in terms of the, um, the theme, there are ones in the batch that will allow you to do that. The one, um, and I, because I'm gonna advocate mine, it is great, but I, I kind of wanted, I kind of stumbled, I just wanted to figure out how this theme works. Um, so this comes up on the front, right. and what I like is that it actually has a series of images, um, so I get random ones every oh, time, nice. time you load it. And then this is just like a splash, so then you scroll down and then you get all your content. 
Um, and the theme is set up so you can have that thing on every page, uh, but I didn't want that. So there's options where you just have that on the front page. Right. As, um, and that's so, what I was thinking. Sort of a welcome. Yeah. Um, so, so I could show you how to use this theme. It's, um, I'm forgetting the name of it now. It's not the stereo, it's, um, it's uh, Moesia. Okay. Um, so that one would work. The other thing that I've done is um, <coughs> I've been fiddling with this. I'm trying to have a site that has more things built into it so you can see um, what the theme can do because typically when you browse it in the viewer it's missing a bunch of things you know like it doesn't look like the preview mm -hmm. I can't see that that top screen because each theme has something funky in it you have to edit so this site is set up um, where there are um, oh, okay. uh, I've added some things we can actually anybody can switch the theme on this to see how it will look so um, what you're talking about and sort of the one that we're using for the um, the ID site I call it like a landing page generally it's stuff that has things that kind of scroll down um, mm -hmm. vertically so um, this same content uh, when we put in sequential um, see I haven't set that one up so it doesn't really show mm -hmm. so that's a bad example um, the one I did try was Goran, Goran okay. on mine yeah. and it was just like it, it looked just like that. I'm like, hmm, I, that's not how. <laughs> and and this, this is the tricky thing. So um, to make this work, you've got to go generally, and each one works a little bit differently. So this is called the customizer. So yep. generally you can do things like, you know, you can change colors. Yep. Um, like if you don't like that red, um, so you can change all that. But under theme options, these are things as specific um, to the theme as possible. So, um, what you have to do on this one is let's see, a front page. You have to um, you have to create generally a page um. that it uses to, to reformat the front page. And that's one of the things I always forget. So I'm not actually not even finding where in this mess uh, everything is. So um, I think you have to go into your pages. And uh, let's I'm trying to remember. This is the one I have front. I thought I set this one. So if I edit this page, and um, yeah, if I set the template to this one as front page, the thing is not all the themes work like this. <laughs> so um, this will be a little experiment to see if I can get this to work. So some of the themes work by saying you've got to create a page put some stuff on it, and change its okay. temp. Well, don't say anything yet because I haven't, I haven't really um, engineered it, but um, that didn't do it. Um, so I gotta figure out, this theme does something like that. Yeah. But, but maybe the, the other one that you're using, the Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. I mean, I kinda like, this is kinda nice, that kinda big banner that it puts on there, that's a featured image. Um, I'm just trying to remember. I, I tried to set up some of these and um, see this one too doesn't really have, but I think I think the Moesia might work for you. Yeah, I think um, it would. Yeah, right. I think it's got the, the sense of what it right. is. Right. So let's... Just the bigger, the bigger photo. Right. Let's, so let's see what we can do back with yours. Um, and uh, you can see I got a lot of people. That's mm -hmm. my Michaels. We'll go to yours. And so we're going to um, change things up. Of course, the nice thing is if you if you want to go back to this one, know. as you know, you don't really. Yeah, it was fine. I just kind of went back to it. I'm like, okay, good. Uh, occasionally, like like this one is supposed to this harmonic one, it's supposed to have that like big front thing. Yeah, I tried it on that one and uh, it it didn't work. So I because you ha you have to find. The it's common. Uh, generally, sometimes you have to go to theme details. Right. And try to figure out. Unfortunately, every theme works differently. <laughs> um, so um, I can talk about this one because I've been using it. Um, and so I will see if I can remember um, all the things um, that we're going to uh, use for this. So uh, customize, let's see if, actually this one, it may not be in customize. Let's see, so we've got general. Yeah. So, um, uh, 
on the front page, this is sort of like the general. Um, I use this masonry format, oh, okay. which makes it more like um, little blocks. Yeah, the little blocks. Um, and even you can fiddle with things. This controls how much of the text gets on the front. So if you say that it doesn't really show much of enough preview, you can uh, change that. Um, the nice thing about the customize is you can see all these changes. Like if you decided you wanted, um, there's a view that has, um, it's more of like a bloggy view. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of like uh, small images is what I had before. I didn't like that one. That's just a, a vertical. I like the masonry.